In order to make this bullet pen, we must first drill out the back of each casing. Then we need to open up the mouth of each casing, solder them together, take your 700 RT apart, and then put the innards into the pen body you've just created. We're going to use six different drill bits in this process. Eighth inch, 3 16 15 64 9 30 seconds, 11 30 seconds, and 23 64 We have two crucial measurements. We need to know the overall length of our pen body as well as the diameter of our pen tip. Find the crack just below the clip. So you have the part up top, then your clip comes up and connects in here. Might be a little hard to see. So take it on one side. Push down and out a little bit, and you're going to get some pen separate, some separation there. So down and out. So as you can see, it's loose now. So we don't want to go from one side only, otherwise we might distort this plastic piece. So we're going to flip the pen over, find beneath our clip just very gently apply pressure forward and pull it out. You have your actual clicker here, uh, the casing, clip, uh, another part here, and this little spring. So these pens normally are around 119 millimeters. So take your stuff here, check this one. So you can see that, 119. Next step here is to find out uh, the diameter of the tip we'll be putting in the expanding casing. So in order to do so, this is just a rubberized coating. We'll take our heat gun, um, put it on a setting, and just go back and forth. So should be good. Take it off. And just pulls away. Once again, I'm using millimeters. And then we just want to know this distance. So So the next piece we need is just this tip. So there is a slight line right here, and we'll cut along that. If you're going to use the scroll saw, I found that if you take the tip and put it in, it makes it a lot easier to grasp and keeps your fingers a little bit further away from the blade. At this point, it's also wise to take your file and rough up the tip a little bit. This allows the glue to adhere better. The next step of the process is to expand the neck of the casing out. So this will be the back end of my pen. Um, it does not need to go as wide as our 8.2 millimeters. So I'm going to set this on uh, my vice hammer. Gentle taps. Check it again. For the casing that we're going to have our tip go in, uh, we want to have our tip handy. Obviously, you can see it won't go in. So we do the same trick we did uh, with our bearing punch. Stick that in. Gentle taps to get it expanded. So there we're getting close. Probably three or four more wax, and we should be good to go. So you want about that much sticking out, and then that allows us to push it so we get a glue joint as well as a press fit joint. The next step is to uh, put our pen casings together to form our pen body. 
Uh, so what we're going to do, you want to use lots of flux. Flux allows the solder to flow, and we want a good joint when we get in here. So what we're going to do is just lather this bad boy up with some solder. Put this in, spin around, try and get it all over there. And then we're going to use our measurement, which was 119 millimeters, to make sure that our body is correct. 19.08 one 19.03 you can use propane or map gas light it and we're gonna start heating it And then we're just going to work the way around, letting that flux flow into our joint, rather our solder. At this point, the pen is cool enough to touch. Uh, as you can see around the solder joint, uh, it's not perfect. <laughs> Chuck it up, and then gently hand tighten it. At this point, we're going to go through the process of using 320 grit paper, 600 grit sanding paper, 1000 grit, and double lot steel wool. Six hundred grit. Thousand grit. And finally, we'll use the steel wool. We have shined up pen body. Gently run it along the inside. So just a couple drops, continue to spin it so it doesn't get built up in there. Okay, so then what we want to do, take our pen tip, push it in. Notice how it's not going in all the way. We'll take it, push down until we feel it seat, as you can see there, and then we'll unscrew our pen tip. Once we have the tip into our pen body, we're going to put our clicker portion together. So we have the clicker itself, blue piece, and our clip. We're going to drop our clip in. Make sure we're holding the blue part itself. Take our itty bitty spring that I've almost lost four times now. Drop that in there and then take this part that captures the end of our ink cartridge in. Put that in there. Take it, gently squeeze some in. So we'll take this. We have our pen casing all put together. Slide this in. Seat it. And then we want to drop the clicking mechanism down. This is because sometimes there's super glue that gets down and then it sticks. So once we do that, we're just going to apply pressure to the top. Once the super glue is completely dry, we'll put our pen together. Couple text clicks. Thanks for watching.